What is going on guys? Gabsido here bringing you a League of Legends commentary. And today I'm playing RE mid ranked. I just oops. I just hit gold on uh, my uh, main account. And so I'm gold 5 right now after a lot of troll uh what's it called? Uh, promotions, you know, people troll all the time, way too much in ranked. And I think, uh, I think the tribunal should be really harder on trolls. Like, ban them all. Fuck it. Like, if you troll once, I think you should get like a penalty of uh, not having to play for like uh, at least one day. And I'm gonna go in here, and we're gonna actually pick up the first blood. Lee's gonna throw a beautiful Q, and I think I'm gonna flash after, ignite him, basic attack, and there he is down. So I picked Ari to actually counter uh, Gragas. Uh, Ari is probably one of the best counters to Gragas in the game. You know, she can dodge pretty much everything with her ultimate uh, that he throws out uh, out at you, and you can harass him so much. He he can barely farm, uh, at least not with his basic attacks, because uh, you can just use your W or Q on him all the time and it's he, he's pretty easy because he's so fat you know you throw your E at him and then he walks right at you uh, so I I would I play a lot of Lux mid and I've been playing a lot of Lux lately to uh, hit gold on uh, this account and I gotta say like I was gonna pick Lux in this game but, you know, Gragas, I thought that, okay, I'm not gonna pick Lux versus Gragas, because every time I pick Lux, someone plays Gragas, and Gragas is, like, the best champion versus uh, Lux. He's, like, the best counter champion. So I decided, let's, let's fuck this Gragas up and pick a counter to him. So I did. And I think I build Athens this game. Um, usually don't do that with Ari. I don't play Ari that much, but this is a great game. I actually go flawless. I never die. Probably shouldn't have said that. That kind of a spoiler alert, but still. And I got my first blue here. I think I build Athens uh, for some reason to, you know, be able to uh, sustain versus Gragas a bit more. And I'm gonna go in here with my ultimate pick of the kill. I was a bit afraid that Lee Sin would uh, take that kill, but he's pretty nice, you know. He doesn't try to steal or anything so I'm gonna roam here we're actually skipping a part of the game because uh, it was pretty boring we were just uh, not doing so much it's so gonna roam bot uh, going a bit too greedy this vein this vein actually kind of feeds uh, a lot <laughs> and we're kind of pissed because she does some stupid mistakes and Gragas gets a few kills here and that's not good Lee Sin does a beautiful ultimate I've never seen anything like that okay I've seen anything like that I've seen a lot of things like that but uh, it was pretty cool anyway and look at this is this a fucking joke look at that luck is that even legal go get a fucking lottery ticket or something god damn it but we're gonna make up for that and we're actually gonna find Gragas standing right here stupid Gragas and but Leona's gonna escape low HP. <laughs> so, so, um. <laughs> this vein goes down to graves again. So stupid. She, like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get the Athens. Um. She goes greedy a lot. She, she tells us that she wants to main vein, but it's so hard, I guess. And I keep telling her to play safe, you know, she's kinda throwing the game. And here we go. Another time, bot lane. I'm gonna get a double kill. Uh, beautiful Annie uh, double stun ult as you can see this Lee Sin actually does a lot of good kicks this game look at this I think he's gonna do it again he's gonna ward and he's gonna kick him back that's beautiful like he does a lot of good ults or good plays this game and uh, so I, I really think Ari and Lee Sin is a pretty good pretty good combo you know he can just kick him into uh, your charm and then you kill someone so they're gonna chase us a lot here uh, for a while this Jax and Mundo and I'm gonna miss my taunt on Mundo really stupid but Annie comes in here and I think we're gonna turn we're gonna turn on Mundo I'm gonna ignite him so he can't ult I think no I don't even ignite him I don't I don't know why I didn't do that Ben is gonna get stunned uh, we're gonna focus Gragas instead he's gonna get out Gragas is gonna throw an ult right at Vayne's face she did get away but she stepped in and again and died 
So stupid. We're actually gonna go back here. I could have killed Mundo with Mike Diet. I'm not sure why I didn't use it. But you know, shit happens. So I'm gonna finish Athens right here. And they're gonna go a little bit greedy here. They're gonna die uh, two times. And I'm gonna follow up here. I'm gonna miss my charm. But I'm gonna be able to pick up Jax anyway, I think. I'm gonna throw out my uh, Q anytime here on Gragas. Picking up the double kill. I'm not gonna be able to get the triple though because um, this Renan is gonna take the kill. Yeah, actually, Rivet and me, we both go flawless this game. I mean, the enemy team, they're not playing bad or anything. Um, I don't go flawless much. I don't. I always die in the end, no matter what, because I always think like I get too greedy, you know, and try to go for uh, too many kills, which I can't get. Oops. And uh, so uh, I don't go flawless without dying much but this game when I had when I, I realized I had I have like 11 and 0 now I thought let's go flawless I'm gonna I'm not gonna die this game and uh, you will see in the end that Riven actually goes flawless as well that's pretty cool two flawless people while Vayne is feeding the fuck out of them <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna Go in here for a little engage. Jax is gonna get focused down quick. Gragas is gonna throw a beautiful ultimate again. He's getting quite fed now, as you can see. He's getting a lot of kills. Um, and the thing with Mundo, you usually you should always ignite him because uh, then he can't heal. It's the best way of countering Mundo to just uh, put the ignite on him and uh, then burst him down with CC and damage. So we almost aced them right here, and uh, I was in a nice position. This vein says, "I'm not sure about that, man. You're never in a nice position. Sorry, bro. Just kidding. I'm gonna go back here and finish the Sonia's Hourglass. Uh, I'm gonna go a bit defensive actually with Sonia's Hourglass and Rely's Crystal Scepter. Athens is always um." Uh, is also a defensive item as well. I just don't want to die. Like I still have a lot of damage. Got my rabbit on pretty early, so I decided, well, let's get some defensive items so I don't die. Leona's gonna chase me a bit here, but I'm gonna be able to escape back. And look at this. Graves gets caught. I'm gonna miss my charm though. But right as um, Lee Sin almost kicks him over the wall. But I managed to pick it off with my pick it up, pick up the kill with my uh, last um, thingy that throws out after my ult. I don't know what it's, what it is. And I'm gonna flash, pick up the kill on Leona and charm uh, Mundo right here, so Lee Sin can pick up the kill. And uh, back to the topic of trolls. Actually, I talked a bit about that earlier in this video. I think that. The tribunal might be too nice on people trolling. Like I, I think that especially in ranked, I think there should be a better system for this to actually ban trolls, um, and maybe even like I should. I think that it should be changed a bit because, like the first time you troll or flame or anything, you get a warning. You get a like, or maybe the first game you don't get anything at all because people might not even report you, and that's kind of sad. You should always report people that flame or uh, troll trolling is the worst thing that can happen seriously uh, it really ruins the game and like the first time you might not get anything the second time you get like a little warning okay you've, we've seen some negativity on this account blah 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 you should calm down before we uh, ban you for like one day and then you control another game right you ruined three games already and you might get a warning the fourth game and that's four four games that you've already ruined. And maybe the fifth game, if you get reported again, um, Tribunal will take this seriously and they will ban you for like one day or something. But that that's like six games you've already ruined. And after that one day, you can go back to troll again, you know? Like, it pisses me off. In ranked, they should like ban people who troll like every game. Or just ban them immediately for like one day. I think that... Um, Maybe not to have like, because as it is right now, you control a bit in the start a lot and you get banned for like one day, one day, a week, and then you get um, suspended for like forever. 
and that kind of sucks but they should have like if you troll one game okay don't let him play for one day i mean ban him so he he knows that he can't just troll every game um so i think really they should change the system and start banning people who uh, troll especially in ranked so fatty is gonna throw another ult but he's actually gonna flash ult to try to kill me um right there because he's probably a bit pissed because i went uh, flawless but i think what was the stats 16 and 0 all right that's pretty cool uh, don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace